Did y'all miss me? Did y'all? I'm bad. <laughs> it's like, no, y'all, look. Like, comment, subscribe, because no, I'm making this video because some bull told me that even though I'm feeling like this right now, I'm gonna make the video while I'm feeling like this. Y'all, I'm pissed off. I'm feeling pissed off. And it's not even for no particular reason in particular. Like, that's so irritating to say it like that. That's how I know I'm a female. Straight like that. Sorry, y'all, about the camera. I don't even know. I don't have PMS or nothing, but I have an attitude. Remember I told y'all about that video? With the, um, that video about dads don't give up on your daughter with the attitude. I am 40 years old on the way to my dad's house right now, y'all. Now, I don't got no attitude with my dad in particular. I don't even know who I got an attitude with. And my morning was straight. But I know what it is, kind of. I think that it got something to do with I'm supposed to be on a break. Like, from the, from my, like, it's my break time from the children. That's probably why I didn't make y'all no videos in a while. Because I ain't talking about nothing when I got my kids like that. I already told y'all when I was sneaking. On my other video when I was sneaking talking to y'all. Y'all know. But anyway, I got an attitude. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I just want to stare at TV. I'm watching this series that I like. It's called Young, Rich, and African. I don't know why I'm so intrigued by Africans getting money and major money a day. Like, they really getting it. Because you know how they always showing depictions of people from Africa as in, like, just, like, blood diamond. Y'all know what I mean. Where they just, like, outside in the desert or in the fields giving it up looking all like they came out of huts and tents like the black people couldn't never think enough to make like millions and zillionaires out of themselves when they doing pretty all right some of them but i still ain't trying to go to some of them cities i ain't gonna hold you and this i don't even know if this is a thing or not but i'm bringing it up <laughs> you look y'all even though i'm black I'm black, meaning I'm an African-American. I did my genealogy, y'all. I haven't did my DNA, but I did my genealogy on all four sides of who I am. Meaning my last name, the last name that I carry right now, that side, and I carry my mother's last name. So I did the lineage back on the last name that I carry from my mother. Then I did the last name that I used to carry from my father. Because listen, y'all, my mom, she changed my last name in, in the fifth grade. Like after I graduated from fourth grade and fifth grade, I had a brand new last name. My mom was a gangster, yo. She used to do whatever she want. Mom, you want some gangster stuff. Anyway, this woman changed my last name. My old last name used to have me in the front of the line because back in the day, you used to line up based on your last name in a line and my last name my, my last name that comes from my father who i was originally named after um is is early in a line is a g and then my last name right now is a t so in fifth grade now i gotta get in the back of the line and it's not even just in a line on fifth grade they calling out the rules so i have to wait to the end when i used to be in the beginning in the g's then they put me in the t's so it wasn't nothing wrong with it i mean you know but my dad didn't like it he doesn't like it but that's the we're digressing from the point the point is i did my incest my ancestry and i'm an african-american and i wanted to bring up this point about and i should and the lord said i shouldn't be fearing nothing because he said he don't give us that spirit he gives us the, the spirit of sound mind and power and all that boom but i'm still tell you what i'm scared of um i'm not trying to go to africa by myself without a film crew and like a million people there for security i'm sorry african people and look it's not that i'm scared of y'all african people er, don't even think that i'm scared of y'all african people it's not that no it's not that let me tell y'all what it is i'm scared they not gonna let me come back home if something break out and they gotta like separate the white people from the black people over there in Africa. And I'm still black. And like how when they went in like on Rwanda, I don't care. On Hotel Rwanda, they didn't want to let the black people on. They let all the white folks go back home. Then on Blood Diamond, y'all already seen what it was. So what I'm saying is, 
Oh, it wasn't even Blood Diamond. It was The Last King of Scotland. That was a crazy movie about the people in Africa, men like that king, man. He was killing all these people and he was treating the white man all crazy, yo. He was treating that white doctor all crazy. That's a true story. And bottom line is, I told somebody like, yo, ain't that crazy how the black man treating the white man? The man I was watching the movie with, my friend was like, that's what he get. I was like, don't be doing that to no white folks. Don't be trying to see them go through pain on, on film <laughs> because we've been through pain. Y'all gotta cut it, black people. But the point is, yeah, I, I'm not trying to go to Africa without a whole bunch of people that know me. I'm not trying to go to Africa. Let's just put it like that. Even though I'm real bad historian, I love Africa. I love everything about all that. I'm not trying to go there because I'm not, it's not that I'm scared of people. I'm just scared if I get stuck there. Like, say if y'all got a blood diamond problem where everybody starts shooting and start going through something. Now I'm black. They not bringing me home. They gonna, they're not bringing me home. And that's what I'm saying. America ain't wasting no um funding or sources on the black woman did they also they did the brandy griner no disrespect to you Brittany griner all i'm saying is they wasn't pressed to get you home honey and i'm not saying they wasn't yeah well well i'm still talking about other us black women going overseas and they drawing look how they did that long, young lady with her friends that did her dirty she did and they don't even wanna they don't even wanna um they don't even wanna investigate her death you know what? I'm going to switch the whole joint now. We're going to definitely get into that. That's what I'm saying about the like my black body in Africa. They barely care about our black body in Mexico. Like, shorty, no disrespect. Because at the end of the day, her family got to be going through something that's worse than ever, especially because they can't get the justice. But if they believers, then at the end of the day, I can't say what nobody is going through because I have no idea. But this is what I will say. Um... They did not care about the black body. That's a woman's black body. Y'all knew she was in a room. Y'all got a piece of the film where they beat her up. And then at the end of the day, no investigation, no nothing. You think I'm about to go to Africa? Say if me and the bull get into it in the bush. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm not trying to get into it with the bull in the bush. Now I'm stuck in Africa. That's it. And I'm chocolate. Like they saying, no, you can go ahead and sit down. So at the end of the day, like I said, and I'm touch back on the other thing. I just feel like they don't care about our black bodies enough. The white folks, they carrying the skin. Oh, put all the black people in like y'all, even if they American, they could get back home. I don't want to play that game. I do not want to play that game. And I know people that went to Africa and that's cool, but I'm not rich enough. No, I don't got it. No, I need a lot of money funding. And then I need to go with my whole generation. I want me, my mom, my kids, all of us, we better go. Because if, if anything happens, I feel like I'm going to get stuck in Africa. <laughs> no disrespect. Like I said, something going on with me in the bush. So I'm going to tell y'all some stories. A story. My, I'm about to pull up at my dad house. So I don't know if I can tell y'all this story. Let me tell y'all how I almost got kidnapped in Jamaica, y'all. Because I'm a wild, adventure woman. So I almost got kidnapped in Jamaica because I started messing with the man in Jamaica, right, from the resort. He was boss, too. He was, like, one of the boss men. It's my first time in Jamaica. I started messing with the man. So he, like, I can't be messing with you on... This is my dad, right? He is not going to want to hear me telling y'all this. So anyway, y'all might have to come back with the story about how I had almost got kidnapped in Jamaica. But the bottom line is I was doing something dumb. So um, the point is I'm back. Just a little something about how I can't go to Africa because they don't respect the black body. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all, if y'all care about this video.